it's the 49ers cut back. We've got breaking news. The 49ers have signed defensive end Ziggy Ansah. Horst, how do you feel about the 49ers signing the longtime vet? I'm really excited about this move. It's something that I think you and I know I wanted them to do anyways. And Shanahan mentioned that today that they planned on bringing him in at some point during the season. They've worked him out a couple times already. He left without a deal. Um, obviously, it was became more pressing with the injuries to Solomon Thomas and Nick Bosa this weekend. Uh, Ziggy is a big-time player. He's a veteran. He's had a couple rough years. He was banged up with injuries, but by all accounts, he is back. He is fully healthy. He has 50 and a half sacks in his career, and this, he's going into his eighth year. He's had seasons of 14 and a half sacks. 12 and a half sacks as recently as 2017 so the the guy can play ball when he's healthy and he also is a former player for chris kasarek the 49ers offensive line or excuse me defensive line coach and i he is the guy that brought the best out of him over there in detroit i i think it's a big time move i'm really excited about it hate to see nick bosa go love nick bosa but ziggy this is a bigger signing than people realize. Absolutely huge signing. Former first round pick, fifth overall by the Detroit Lions. Um, absolute stud. He has played lights out for Chris Kasarek in the past. In Detroit, had wonderful sack numbers, a lot of tackle numbers as well. The, the stat that stands out is the one that Horst just brought up. The 50 and a half sacks in 91 games is absolutely incredible. Uh, it, it is an underappreciated, underrated signing. It's the signing that I'm, I feel like any 49ers fan that has kind of their pulse on the team and free agents and what's been going on with all these injuries kind of felt was coming. It's here. It's happened. Ziggy Anza in San Francisco. Ant, how you feeling about it? It was a legitimate player in the league and someone that needed to be added and added uh, right now. I think they were going to wait. I think they've been waiting for him to get more healthy. I think that's why they keep working him out. And they were trying to get to a contract that they uh, liked uh, for both sides. And I think now they just, you know, push came to shove. They had to make the move with uh, Bosa and Solomon Thomas. But he's going to give us some uh, some real pressure off the edge. He's a legit pass rusher in the NFL. He's a big-time player. He's familiar with Chris Kassarek. Kassarek's going to get the most out of him. Um, these are legit guys. I mean, even uh, Deion Jordan and him both, I thought they were going to sign Ansa before. And now they're going to bring Ansa in. I think this is a, a big move for them. Um, I don't know how uh, fast we're going to see the... The dividends pay off, but it's got to happen quick. Um, but Ansa is a legit player. I'm happy they signed him because, you know, you can't replace Bosa with one guy. Um, this guy has potential that can get those type of sacks. He can reach that nine sack level, so maybe he can replace him. Um, he's definitely gonna he's definitely gonna begin there and causing problems and somebody that they have to game plan for. So I like it. It gives a mixture, a little bit of versatility between him and Kerry Hyder and that. So yeah, good signing for the 49ers. Absolutely, absolutely. We appreciate it. Any other breaking news, we will be coming at you quick and hard with it. Stay safe. And remember, the right way is always the 49ers way.